Howdy, teacher friends. Hey guys, so have you wondered about these squares called QR codes and how you could use them as a teacher in your classroom? Well, in this video, it's just a simple basic how to scan QR codes and some ideas for using them in your classroom. So if you've never scanned one of these before, just continue watching and I'll show you how to do it. To scan a QR code, you need an appropriate device. Here are some options. An iPod fourth generation or higher. An iPad with a camera, that's two or higher. Your old smartphone after you upgraded to a new one. You might also can make the camera on your laptop scan codes or your camera projector at school, but I haven't explored those options yet. Now you need an app that will scan on your device. Go to your App Store or iTunes account and search with the word scan. The first one that pops up is my favorite. There are a lot of others out there, but this one is free and very uncomplicated. So just pick this one or another one and download it onto your device. Now you're ready to scan QR codes. You can just find one off of a cereal box or download one of my freebies in my info links. Open your scan app, click on it, and then aim your device at the QR code as if you were taking a picture. The message should appear. If it doesn't, tap on the screen to help it focus on the QR code or turn the light feature on so it will give you more light when you scan. Are you ready to give it a try? Press pause and then try to scan this QR code. Were you scantastic? Now here are my ideas for using QR codes in your classroom. You can find them down in the info links below. Let's start with Jenga blocks. I created fraction problem labels for students to choose, solve, and then scan. If they're correct, then they can use that block to start building their tower. It's a lot of fun. How about QR code task cards? Using a recording sheet, students write the problem, solve, and then use a device to scan the QR code and check their answer. If it's correct, then they can either use their pencil or a marker to shade in the circle. If it's not correct, they just leave it alone and you have an easy way to spot check students' work and assess. Here are some QR code worksheets. Students solve each problem, then scan to check their answer. If they're correct, then they bubble in the circle. If not, they leave it blank, allowing you to assess their work. Inside this treasure box is an activity that combines recycling, bottle caps, Avery labels, and QR codes. Students take out the caps and sort them by color. Each group of color-coded bottle caps is a separate problem to solve. Students take one set of bottle caps and try to place the fractions and or decimals in order from least to greatest. Students then turn each bottle cap over, making sure to keep it in its current position. Now it's time to scan. Starting from the left, students scan each of the QR codes. If they are correct, the numbers that pop up from the QR codes should go in order from 1 to 6. If they are out of order, students should check the bottle caps and assess where they went wrong. Last year I went really crazy, I guess, with bottle caps and QR codes, so I created this activity that also involves bottle caps and Avery labels. I place multiplication and division problems on top and QR codes on the inside. Students choose a bottle cap, solve the problem, and once they're done, they just scan the QR code that they find inside to check their answer. Here's an example with division. Don't tell my husband, but this IKEA coffee table makes an awesome whiteboard 
for my videos. This freebie involves a traditional game of checkers. I placed the labels on each square with problems involving all four operations for my fourth graders to solve. So to play, set up the game like you normally would, and then make a move. Students solve the problem on the square that they land on using paper and pencil or mental math. After they solve the problem, they place a QR code blocker on the square and scan the QR code to see if it matches their answer. If it does, they may make the move. If not, they must stay where they are. So I bought some toy capsules off of eBay, hoping to use them in a gumball machine, but that hasn't worked so far. But what I did was cut out some problems from my QR code math worksheets and place them inside, kind of like task cards. Students pick a toy capsule, take out the problem, and then solve it. Once they solve the problem, they use a device to scan the QR code to see if it matches their answer. After they've completed the toy capsule problem, then they'll choose another one until all the problems are complete. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. My last idea are QR code behavior coupons. These are what my students receive every week for doing well in my class. I hope to make a more in-depth video for you, so check the info links below to see if I've done it. If not, you can still get this freebie in the resource link below. If you'd like to know how I attached an image to QR codes to make these, check the info links below too. And if you're wondering, these coupons I'm showing are in Spanish for my immersion students, but I also have them available in English. Just check the resource link down in the info links. So thank you for watching how to scan QR codes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just like, comment, or subscribe. I hope to do more videos like this one. Have a great, awesome week in your classroom with your kiddos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.